When I was out there in the streets, well, first of all, I've been charged with a multitude of charges. Um, it's hard, it's so many that it's hard for me to actually remember. I will say that the most significant ones were uh, driving under the influence, and, and I had a multitude of those. And so I didn't have a driver's license for many, many years, yet I still continued to drive. And so I got to a higher status and to a, the point to where I was revoked and each charge carried a minimum mandatory of one year. That was the result of my drug habit. And so I would get behind the wheel to go search and attain drugs. And my drug habit led me into prison, got me incarcerated, and it led me down some roads and places where I'm surprised sometimes even today that I've I'm even still sitting here and made it out. The charges that I got that led me into prison the last time was driving under the influence of possession. As God would have it, I was arrested at six o'clock in the morning, March 3rd, 2008, right here in front of this building. I was searching for drugs and I was pulled over by the police. I had been using drugs all night And when I got stopped by the police that morning, they pulled me out of my car. They put me in the back of the police car. And that's when the miracle happened. That was the very first day that I heard the voice of God in my spirit. And this is what God said. It is over. And then he said it again. I heard it again it is over. I instantly knew exactly who it was and what he meant. I no longer felt the obsession and the compulsion to use drugs. I never smoked another cigarette from that day as well. I ended up still having to be incarcerated and go to prison, but it was the day that I was set free.